Hey boss, today I want to actually share with you, and this was spur of the moment, but what to consider before bringing employees back to work post COVID. And the reason I want to have this conversation with you today or share some perspective is because I just recently had a conversation with an executive in a, a large company. And I also have actually interviewed employees from another organization and really some themes are coming out of what people are feeling and experiencing when they are being asked to go back to work and there are other issues that come into play as well and i really want you as the boss to consider this if you are thinking about or have already uh, brought your employees back to work and haven't really talked to them. Um, and if you haven't, these are some things to consider prior to, you know, getting them back in the office more full time. All right. Hey, I'm Dr. Heather Williamson with the Transformation Group and welcome back to the channel. All right, boss. So this is really for you. And I want you to think about your employees and what they have really gone through for the last year and a half. And these are some things that I want you to consider prior to making it mandatory that they come back to work. And the one topic that is a huge concern of your employees, if they have not already been, you know, gotten that shot, the, um, and I'm putting in quotes the vaccine because it's still not an approved drug by the FDA, and that is if you are making this a requirement for employment because your employees I have found through interviewing employees within companies that one they are not happy that they are being forced to get a shot if they um, if they don't need it because one thing that's come into play and, and has been discussed among the employees is that if they've already gotten COVID and they already have the antibodies, why are they being forced to get the shot? So this is something for you as the boss to consider and think about. Another thing is um, if you don't have in place already, think about health um, prior health conditions that could be harmful for that employee and religious exemptions as well. And I took some notes, so I just wanted to share with you some of the concerns that I found uh, through interviewing employees. And uh, one, another one is they may not be happy with this suggestion or this forced action that they have to take because they're thinking that it's my body, my choice. And so they may be looking for another job. So I just want you to be aware that this could actually happen. Um, and if they actually come back to work and you have that grace period of them having to have the, the vaccine, then they could be currently looking for another position. Also, the science isn't totally backing up the need is what uh, is also being shared because of uh, immunity if you actually had COVID and with the 99.9 percent .9%, depending on who you are and what age group you're in but the 99.999 percent .99 survival rate for this and these are just some other things to consider that the serious side effects that are um, happening once people do get that shot and then the unknown long-term effects of the shot as well because it is new it's experimental so no one knows what the long-term effects are so consider um, for those that want to get it fine if they don't you know have some alternative and one of the options is the second area that I wanted you to think about is the employees um, mental health so when it comes to mental health I have found that doing these interviews there are some real uh, mental challenges mental health issues that your employees might be experiencing i know this company had um, several and that is really the stress and the mental anxiety um, of having to now go back to work be around people being could be being around lots of people depending on the size of your organization and what um, you know what that means to them you know what are the chances they have fear of getting 
uh, COVID if they haven't because the vaccine really does nothing. You have people who are getting uh, COVID and they've already got the vaccine. So just some things to consider. Also, when it comes to your employee mental health issues, make sure that you share that they have the employee assistance program. If you do have it, that that is an option for them. And um, if you don't, then please, you know, ask them to go out and seek additional um, help if needed. Also, when it comes to um, employee mental health, think about, you know, put yourself in their shoes if you can on what it is that they might be experiencing and make sure that you are providing an environment where they feel like they are safe, which gets to my third uh, idea to consider, and that is precautions put in place. So what are you putting in place? I mean, obviously you've probably got hand sanitizers, you've probably, um, maybe you're staggering your people back to work, maybe you are creating a health check when they come in. Maybe you might be creating a new space for employees, especially if prior to this that they were working in more close quarters. You know, what, did it, what is it that you're doing that is providing them feelings of safety when they do return back to work? Also, the fourth is, is hybrid work an option? So think about this. A lot of employees are very productive working from home and unless that job or your job requires that person to be there, it could be the billing department, accounting department, maybe they need to be there to input the information, the data. Think about what aspects of you, the roles in the company and what can be left as hybrid and maybe what cannot. Like obviously IT, perfect hybrid opportunity. So think about that and, and making sure that your employees can either work solely from home or maybe come into work a couple days a week, but not the whole five days a week. This is up to you and your organization and what you feel like you really need in order to have uh, your people effective and productive in their job roles. Um, also, when it comes to uh, thinking about these things, you really need to ask your people uh, what it is that they are wanting, what their fears are, what their concerns are, because this is going to help provide you the information. Uh, I recently did almost four days, about four days of interviewing with employees from all levels, from staff through senior management, and you can do this or, you know, feel free to uh, contact me below and we can talk about it but you know conducting focus groups um, and interviews to really find out what it is that you are wanting to make sure you, the information that you need to make sure that your people are coming back in a very um, you know they feel good and feel safe and are excited to be returning back to work also keep in mind that Yes, fears exist and they're not going to go away and some people just need to step back from the TV uh, seriously because all the TV does is put fear in people. So, you know, getting away from the TV and the, and the drama and the fear and all this will help alleviate some of this. But also, it really comes back and this comes back to psychology, but that internal locus of control. Do your people feel like they have control of their lives and they are have control over their health? or are they putting um, blame on outside forces so they feel like they don't have control. It's really the outside forces that have control. So those people that have internal locus of control are gonna be a lot more successful in bouncing back from all of this um, that's going on in the world today. So anyway, I just you know decided to put this out there. Feel free to comment below, feel free to contact me. I'll put my, obviously my information in there in the, in the description below and the comments where you can reach out to me if you want to gather more information on what you might need to do within your company and your department and even providing insight to senior level executives on how they're going to approach going back to work uh, with regard to their employees. So. Hopefully this was helpful. If uh, you like it, please like the button below. Don't forget to subscribe. 
hit that notifications bell so you don't miss out on any leadership tips and strategies that will help you become a better boss or be a better boss. And until next time, go out and be that boss that your employees want to work for. Bye.